Beloved, praying and asking the Lord for direction so that he would reveal to us the exact moment to celebrate his Holy Supper and his days of holy convocation since our Bibles and translations confuse everything and the words are sometimes wrongly translated. The Lord God answered me, In the morning you will know. So I stayed calm and thankful to the Lord for his great mercy. At dawn, he told me, Turn on the cell phone and look at the message from Doro, my servant from Madison. I ran to the cell phone and turned it on and went to Brother Doris' contact, and there I saw his messages. There was the answer. The Lord God moved the brother to make an explicit and true study of the subject of the Lord's Supper and the feast of the Passover. We are all learning on this path, and the teacher is Jesus Christ. He gives light to his people so that we can advance together in this. I live grateful to God because his mercies are new every morning. May we all be blessed in Christ Jesus. Part of the message received by Daisy from Brother Doru. Exodus chapter 12 verse 1 And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Madison Institute, God spoke to Moses on the first day of the year, Nisan 1, I ask for forgiveness and I correct what I said in the video. He did not speak to him on the 14th, but on the first day of the month and of the year. Verse 2. This month will be the beginning of months for you. It will be for you the first in the month of the year. Verse 3. Speak to all the congregation of Israel, saying, On the tenth of this month, let each one take a lamb for the families of their fathers, one lamb for each family. Verse 4. And if the family is so small that it is not enough to eat the lamb, then it will take its immediate neighbor to its house, and according to the number of people, each one according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Verse 5, your lamb shall be without blemish, a male, one year old. You will take it from the sheep or the goats. Verse 6, and you are to keep it until the 14th day of this month, and the whole congregation of the people of Israel shall slaughter it between the two evenings. Verse 7, and they shall take of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and on the lintel of the houses where they are to eat it. Verse 8. And that night they will eat the flesh roasted over the fire and unleavened bread with bitter herbs. Madison Institute, Nissan 15. Verse 9. You shall not eat of it raw nor cooked in water, but roasted over the fire, his head with his feet and intestines. Verse 10. You shall not leave anything of it until morning, and what will be left until morning, you must burn it in the fire. Verse 11. And those shall eat it, with your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you will eat it in haste. It is Jehovah's Passover. Verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night and will smite every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and I will execute judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, Jehovah. Madison Institute, Nissan 15. Verse 13. And the blood will be a sign to you in the houses where you are. And I will see the blood and I will pass over you. And there will be no plague of mortality on you when I strike the land of Egypt. Madison Institute, Nissan 15, verse 14. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And you shall keep it a solemn feast to Jehovah throughout your generations. By an everlasting statute, you shall celebrate it. Madison Institute, which day? 
the day which is the subject of the previous verses, when Jehovah will pass over and wound the land of Egypt. The 15th of Nisan. Verse 15. Seven days you will eat bread without yeast, and so on the first day you shall make no living bread in your houses, for whoever eats living bread from the first day to the seventh, that soul will be cut off from Israel. Madison Institute, from Nisan 15th to Nisan 21st, verse 16. On the first day, there will be a holy convocation, and also on the seventh day, you will have a holy convocation. No work will be done in them, except only that you prepare what each one has to eat. Madison Institute Deadline days are celebrated as a weekly Saturday. Verse 17. And you shall keep the feast of unleavened bread, because on this same day I brought your armies from the land of Egypt. Therefore, you will keep this day in your generations by perpetual custom. Madison Institute. The feast of the unleavened bread that is mentioned here is only on Nisan day 15, the day of the Passover food and liberation. Verse 18, in the first month, on the 14th of the month, in the evening, you will eat the unleavened bread until the 21st of the month, in the evening. Madison Institute, here we have the clearest evidence that it is about the 15th day of Nisan because the verse speaks of the seven days of the feast from the 15th to the 21st. And the day 15th calls it the day 14th of the month in the evening. But evening is badly translated. Correct is nightfall. Why does it insist on saying that from the first minutes of the feast should be eaten on event? Simply because in those first hours after nightfall, the Passover should be eaten and now the Lord's Supper. Verse 21 And Moses called all the elders of Israel and said to them, Bring out and take lambs for your families and slaughter the Passover. Madison Institute We are already in the Sunday 14. Verse 22, and take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that will be in a basin and anoint the lintel and the two posts with the blood that will be in the basin and none of you leave the doors of your house until morning. Madison Institute, still on Nissan 14th. Verse 23, for Jehovah will pass to smite the Egyptians, and when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, Jehovah will pass over that door and will not allow the destroyer to enter your houses to strike. Madison Institute refers to the following day, Nisan day 15th, verse 24. And you shall keep this by statute for you, and your children forever. Madison Institute, what should they keep? Did they have every year to anoint the lintels and the posts of their houses? It refers to remember that day of liberation and eat the Passover until its fulfillment and then just eliminate the lamb and keep remembering this feast, eating unleavened bread, wine, and bitter herbs. See it in verse 27. Verse 25. And it will be when you have entered the land that Jehovah will give you, as he promised, you will keep this right. Madison Institute. It does not refer to anointing the frames of your doors with blood, 
but to what verse 27 says. Verse 26. And when your children say to you, what does this right of yours mean? Verse 27. You will answer. It is the sacrifice of the Passover of Jehovah, which passed the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt when he wounded the Egyptians and delivered our houses. Then the people bowed and worshipped. Madison Institute makes direct reference to Nissan Day 15. The father gave the life of his beloved son, but took the life of all the unbelievers in symbol of the killed firstborn, the sacrifice of Christ free from Egypt and kills anyone who rejects it. Finally, in the history of this world, the sacrifice of Christ is remembered not by killing the lamb. That was something deeply unpleasant and it is our shame as humanity, but eating my flesh and drinking my blood. John chapter 6 verse 48 to 63. That is eating the word of God and living his life, imitating his example, having his faith and symbolically celebrating the Lord's supper with unleavened bread, wine and bitter herbs. Nisan day 14 was never a feast and it cannot be because it is the most sad and shameful scene of the human race and the greatest suffering of the Father. That's why God did not command that the 14th of Nisan be kept with a holy convocation and without work as a servant. But on the day 15th was declared a solemn festivity, the day when the believers should manifest their faith in the merits of Christ by participating in the sacred symbols.